trainers hate him. Language professors hate him. Dermatologists hate her. Russians hate her. Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. What do these things have in common? They're all secrets that are lies. And they don't actually work. Sorry for misleading you with the title of this video. You want in on the Russian secrets? Well, you can't have the Russian secrets because I'm not Russian and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today we're going to attempt this magical witchcraft pools of a Russian nail artist soul mani done by none other than Sveta Sanders from Instagram. At the very least, you will see how elusive these Russian secrets are because I absolutely fail at achieving them. And then we're going to end up doing this, which doesn't look Russian at all. Oh well, time to see me try. I went for some soft and springy colors, even though it's late August. Applied this pastel purple down first on my nail. Check out my new nail art brush pack I got from Twinkle Tea. Yeah, you can get it too if you use my code SIMPLY for 10% off. So many brushes to choose from, including a water marble tool on the end there. I'll never use it for that. Let's start on my pinky finger. So I apply a thick coat of the purple stuff and I'm already flooding in my cuticles. Things are going well. So you're supposed to just drop in the second color of polish into blobs. But some people do this and they call it a blob of care. I did one of those once upon a time and you probably thought when you watched it that it was easy, but it wasn't. Okay, so what the hell does Feta do now? So she takes that water marbling tool thing and drags the points. Um, no, no, no. This is not a Russian nail art secret. You lied to me! Let's try this again on another nail. Let's try one of the thin paintbrushes instead. Look, the tips are purple. Don't get me wrong, it is cool, but I wonder what was going through the manufacturer's head. I want all our brushes to be purple. Actually, no. Make it just the tip. Ah, I did the blobs way too big, and now it's a monster. Oh well, let's practice anyways while we're here. This time I'll just take a thin paintbrush because I think that's not going to make me scrape the bottom of my nail. It's like training wheels, okay? I mean, if the Russian's able to use this hard-edged water marbling tool to do it, you know, like us Canadians and probably Americans too, need to use a paintbrush to do it because it's a little softer and a little easier. In any case, this nail looks like the story of my life. Next. Okay, don't do the blobs as big this time. Got it. Things are going to work out great. How do they do this? This isn't even making any sense or resemblance to what Sveta did. Never gonna give up, never gonna give up. That's me. Never gonna give it up, never gonna let the Russians down. Oh look, this one's not absolutely terrible. It somewhat resembles what she did. Guys, look. If practice makes perfect, then Sveta must be approximately 282 years old. Okay, now I've ruined almost all of my nails. Good thing I wore my favorite peel-off base coat under all of them, because I knew this was going to happen. The polish on top is still a bit wet, but the base coat dries like a saran wrap layer. It's actually pretty cool. If you just gently push at it, then it will peel off everything as long as you don't poke a hole in the polish that you're peeling off, and then the wet polish bleeds through. This is what I'm using, but it's currently sold out at the place I always get it from. But you can sign up at the link below to be notified when it's back in stock. Yeah. And yes, I'm going to do a peel-off, face-off games thingy magic. So you will get to see how this compares to glue and all the other peel-off alternatives. Spoiler alert, this one's going to win. I'm just going to blame my failures on the color combo, and I'm going to try this darker teal hollow because maybe it'll be a little more pigmented and the Russianness will come out better. Drop those blobs. Drop them like it's hot. Or cold. Because it looks cold. Whatever. Those blobs don't look proportional, but let's try it anyways. The darker color works better. You can definitely see what's happening, sort of. Or you can at least see what's not happening here, and that's a Russian magic. But we're slowly getting the idea, right guys? Mm, yeah, I did this one too far down on the nail, and I bleh. The other thing about being Russian is that you have to be a perfectionist. So even though this might look okay to some of you out there, it's probably because you're American or Canadian. So in spirit of trying to be a true Russian, this is not perfect. I must redo it. So you're coming off, and so are you. And you. I can see clearly now the blob of cures on. can see all drag obstacles in my way. 
Did you guys know that I once sang as a professional singer? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, well, this may not be good enough for a Russian, but it's good enough for me. I'm moving on. I made the blogs a little too small on this one. Ooh, this one's not so bad. It looks the most like Sveta's. Sveta, Sveta. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm really sorry to my Russian friends if I can't pronounce your names. Not so bad, eh? Eh? Okay, now I gotta do the middle nail. This is serious business. I've been training hard for this. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Must pull the blobs perfectly. Oh no, that one was crooked. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. It doesn't have the pulling in cool effect that she has. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then there's like these X things around the corners. I don't know what Okay, well, whatever. A Canadian tries to be Russian, part one. Kinda looks like a bunch of rabbits that ate a whole backyard of green leaves decided to throw up on my nails. So now I'm gonna try and save this manicure by being a French person. Cause you know, it's a scientific fact that Russians are just good at everything on nails, but French nail artists are especially good at freehand. I've confessed before, I don't actually know how to paint, as you've probably seen in my video on how to pretend you can paint when you actually can't. So here's my attempt at being French and painting on some rose gold foliage or something. An attempt to save my manicure from the Russian graveyard. Didn't really work out. It's still dead. Put a top coat anyways, cause you know, you gotta move on with your life, even when you have a nail fail. Even though it looks like crap, there is one thing we can do to save this manicure from the dead. Add a bunch of hollow glitter to it, of course. <laughs> so I normally add a hollow top coat to everything, but this time I thought, why not add like a chunky hollow glitter to the whole thing? This is Starly's Ultima, and you can pick it up on pre-order now at the link below. Oh my god, so much rainbow, so much sparkle, I'm gonna die. If you're having a bad day, or any nail fell, you literally just have to put hollow glitter on top of it, and you'll instantly feel better. Watch, this is how it goes. Uh, my nails are so ugly, everyone! One's gonna hate them. Puts hollow glitter on the nail. Oh my god, I feel so much better right now. Look, there's rainbows everywhere. I don't see any fails. So that was one coat. Let's add a second so you can get even deeper into that hollow glitter dreamland. Mm, yeah, I instantly feel better about my self-esteem. Take that, Russian nail artists. They won't even know what hit them. Obviously, I mean, absolutely no offense to Russian nail artists or nail artists of any ethnicity for that matter. But I'm just so jelly of you guys. How do you do it? I know it's in your genes. You were born with it. Don't lie. Okay, some of us were not born Russian, so we just need to use the hollow glitter secret. And there you have it. That's the secret on how to be Russian. First, you try to be Russian and paint your nails like them, and then you fail, and then you just put hollow glitter on it, so everything is fine. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to use my secret when you're having a bad day. See you next time.